She's got these gorgeous flares on her nails, like longer than anyone's. The euphoria makeup, like I just hate her. I hate her. Y'all didn't like expect me to not get completely addicted to this game and not be able to stop playing, did you? Because I did that, yeah. I mean, I just like went one night without recording and I was like, surely I won't get that far, but yeah, here I am. Uh, this is the new me. This is the new me, the real me. I have my brown hair. I'm wearing a cuter outfit, sans the potato shoes, of course. Ditched those as soon as I could. And we are up here <laughs> in this place. I forget where we are, but like basically, you know, I've done a whole bunch of shit. I met a whole bunch of people. Some of them are really hot too. Um, I defeated Cleaver, like the, I don't know, majestic, noble Cleaver or whatever. I have the wire deer that I'm riding around and all that shit. And I'm like, you know, I've done a good bit of shit for sure. I have a lot of Pokemon now. I've definitely, this is still like, the, I would say the beginning of the game. Like my um, Quilava is only level 24, so it's not like that big of a deal. But he's so cute, right, Ashes? And so this is my current team, bitch. Take your team out. We've got Ashes, obviously. We've got Honey, my little Tangela that I just got. Lilith, the fucking demon child Paris. These Parises, y'all. Paris, the little crab, the little innocent crab. They are trying to hunt me for sport. They are so dangerous. They eat people. They eat people. Not a lot of animals will actually eat people. The Parises in this game, they eat people. They have a taste for people, for human flesh. Maeve, she's my little graveler. Odette is a magic carb. I'm trying very hard. We only have like one more level to go, I think, to get a Gyarados. And then my new hunter, Ike. And that's my team right now. My noble, beautiful steed. I already have you, bitch. I don't need you anymore. Where am I going again? Am I the only one who always thinks that those little yellow rocks are the orange rocks over there? Fuck, I'm gonna drown. Fuck, shit, fuck. You can't just fucking get your shit together for two seconds. Wow. No one ever taught this bitch how to swim. That's amazing to me. You're 15 and you don't know how to swim and you're out on a grand adventure like you would think that that's the first fucking skill that you would need to learn anyway am i the only one out here who always thinks that these things right here are a vulpex i'm always like vulpex wow what is this it's a camp where are the people investigate it looks like the remains of someone's campfire oh my god that's scary that reminds me of like outlast or something i'm scared i don't like people and to be honest to be quite frank with you I am kind of confused about this game's plot. There's a lot of text. There's a lot of dialogue. It's kind of like a novel a little bit, which is fine. I love a, I love a good plot, but at the same time, like I have to read it all. So I'm just over here kind of like, okay, I'm happy for you or I'm sorry that happened. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I'm, I'm doing what these people are telling me to do. Obviously I'm following, you know, the rules and stuff. I mean, I'm not confused, but I'm definitely confused. <laughs> I just think there's a lot. There's a there's a lot that they're putting right on you. Oh, here. Anyway, who's following me? Who's chasing me? Which Pokemon? There's a Pokemon that's trying to fight Ghastly over there, trying to fight little boy. Anyway, I should get down. Who's this? But yeah, I'm still kind of confused about the, the, the plot. People just tell me what to do and I do it, you know? This is Cabela or Cala, Calaba. I'm Calaba of the Pearl Clan, Warden Calaba to you. Okay, Warden Caliba, you must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's me, bitch. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleaver in his frenzy. I did, easily. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. Bitch, where were you? Because it was an emergency situation. You were nowhere to be found. I was the one who stepped in. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission after all. I am not above scrapping with an old elderly woman and you run about catching pokemon up in those little balls you carry how'd you get your pokemon bitch be on your way there is much i must do and i prefer not to be distracted any further oh my god i cannot believe i was just spoken to in that manner volo volo come here come get your grandma i will say he is my number two crush just behind my number one crush. Ginkgo, guild member Volo, challenged you to battle. There's that Togepi, all right. Battle. Where did you get the Togepi? I want a Togepi. I haven't even used Honey yet, but I just really love her so much. She's so cute, I love Tangela. And so I really want to train her. Get him, get him, Honey. Oh, it's not very effective, fuck, Honey. Tangela, please. Yeah, Honey, you're useless. Maeve, go out there and finish it. There's my girl. Yeah, just finish it, Maeve. I really wanted the Tangela to work out, but 
that's a pretty useless Pokemon, honestly, in my team. Unfortunately, <gasps> my Magikarp can evolve. Yes, I gotta get a Gyarados. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna be so unstoppable. Where are we going again? So I'm trying to get up here, but it's like, I don't even, I have no, oh Jesus, look at that alpha. <gasps> Fuck yeah, he's kicking my ass. I'm not even close to prepared to handle this. Oh my God, get me out of here. All right, here's the camp. Now who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Oh God, who's this? Hotties, baddies. Oh yeah, no, beat me. Beat me, ladies. Please kick me in the throat, please. Charm, wow. Clover. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Oh my god. Ladies, I love the performance. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. This sounds like MTV Next or something, like one of those cheesy shows where they like introduce themselves and it's like so and cheesy. We're the infamous bandit trio, the Miss Fortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. I'm so glad it has, ladies. The bandit coin challenged you to battle. Coin, you're going down, bitch. Sorry. Sorry, bitch, but you are. I'm pretty good at Pokemon, so. There was only one Pokemon? Really? Coin. Nice. Yay, I got the wall fragment. Girls, I hope this isn't the last of you. I'm sure it won't be. Anyway, yeah, I won and now I have to go back where before we do anything else, we are evolving Odette, my beautiful, gorgeous queen. Who's gonna be my Gyarados? And I'm gonna get to brag. I mean, if you have a Gyarados, come on. Everybody's talking about you. Hey, guess what, granny? Guess what, grandma? Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. All lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping other people, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. All right, so I'm off to the Sludge Mound to fight Ursaluna, who I am assuming is gonna be similar. Oh God, here's that fucking big asshole. Yeah, this Ursaluna is apparently like a nightmare. I feel like it's gonna be like the Cleaver fight where I have to throw shit at him and also battle him with my Pokemon. So Geodude, really? <laughs> Yeah, keep dreaming, buddy. Like, for real, y'all are so funny. Look at these little eyes. <gasps> oh my God, how cute are you? Love that for you. Yes, baby. That was such a good effort, honestly. <laughs> Over here, Amanda. <laughs> Okay. Ursa Luna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up at the moment I play my Celesti Celestica flute. Play, bitch. Do it. Oh my god, I have to fight him? <laughs> He's gonna kick my ass. Remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Yeah, I don't want him. He's crazy. I don't want him. Go Ashes. P kick his ass, please. He's not gonna. This is gonna be really hard. Wait, so I'm just battling him? I'm not like throwing shit? All right. Great. Yeah, Ashes. Rip. I'm sorry. Odette, go out there and kick his ass, would ya? Yeah, my Gyarados? I don't think so. Even though she only knows Water Pulse, it's it's fine. Water Pulse him to death, yes, Odette. You did it, baby girl. My Gyarados carried me through, just like I knew she would. Why was that so easy? Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I love her, actually. I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison is what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxagon. Toxagon, that's catchy. Aw, she's sweet. I like her. I like that she's nicer to Pokemon than she is to humans, because, like, same. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? Aw, he's so cute. He's like a big bear. He's so cute. Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? You know it. You know it, girl. We're besties now. T talented. I am so talented. Flute is my passion. Aw, Ursaluna, are you going to be okay, baby? 
Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Ursaluna, my baby, look at him. He's so cute. I love you, baby. You're so cute. I want to just fucking kiss his fucking face. Now go and let your commander know what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. My mom. That's my mom. Ursaluna was easy as hell. Cleaver was kind of not easy. Like, not super hard, but like, Cleaver was, it was, it was like a... It was a challenge, I would say. I don't know, but I'm I'm game with that. I'm cool with that. Oh, fuck, you dumb bitch. Fuck, everybody's drowning now. Everybody dies. Oh, my God. Hey, so uh, I'm back. Very, very addicted to this game. This is one of the biggest hyperfixations I've had in, like, so long. Y'all already know. Everybody already knows. I'm not doing anything that y'all aren't doing. Basically, just can't put it down. Cannot put it down. The other day, I tried to figure out how I could take my dogs outside on a walk and play the game at the same time on my Switch. I was, I really, I was that like deep in the throes of addiction that I for a second thought that that was possible. I didn't do it, but I thought about it. But I have been grinding. I have quite a few things to catch you guys up on. I think first and foremost, elephant in the room, because you can see Ashes is looking a little different these days. And when I tell you, this, first of all, this is my son. Don't ever fucking say anything about my son. If you do, I swear to God, I will bury you. I will bury you, okay, at the Volcano Island. He's beautiful. And I will tell you right now, I guess I missed this. I missed the fact that he was going to look like this, right? <laughs> In entirely missed it. So when he evolved into Typhlosion and he's like asleep right now, like he's a mess. He's a complete mess. But when he evolved, I was like, whoa, whoa, is that like a shiny or something? Is that possible? Are they like not shinies, but then they can evolve into a shiny? No. I was, yeah, be beside myself. And I also was beyond delighted, thrilled, dazzled, the happiest I've ever been in my life, elated to find that he looks like a fucking dork. This is the dorkiest creature ever, ever conceived by science, nature. I don't know what happened to make him look like this, but he's beautiful. He is my beautiful son. He's doing great. He's, he's the dumbest creature on, on planet Earth, and we love our boy. But it doesn't stop there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my favorite Pokemon in the entire world is Jolteon, and so I won the game. Wow, I threw him all the way over there near Benny. Benny, don't even look at my Jolteon. I still hate this guy. I just don't trust him. Um, yeah, this is Sparky. I always name my Jolteon Sparky. I just have always been doing that since I was little. So this is Sparky, and he is my favorite Pokemon. Don't tell Ashes. Like, he's genuinely my, my partner in this life. This is my boy. This is my Sparky boy. Look, we're just staring into each other's eyes. Like, this is, we are so dedicated to each other. We're just so bonded. This is like what I consider winning the game. Like, I won the game a long time ago. Once I got Sparky, I won the game. I'm um, just playing kind of for fun at this point. I guess I could just show you guys my current team here. We've got Ashes, Rem, my uh, Alpha Snorlax. You know the one. Yeah, I wrapped his shit up, put him in a Pokeball, and he's here. His name is Rem, uh, like Rem Sleep. You're going to make fun of all my nicknames, but um, it's fine. Acorn is such a cutie. I never like planned on or expected to have a Togetic. Like I like them, they're great, but like I didn't really plan on it. But then I had to bond with my Togepi in order to get him to, to evolve. And I really fell in love with that little Togepi. So that's Acorn and I just love him. And he's actually really a great Pokemon. So I've kept him on the team. This is Lucky, he's my Alpha Gyarados. Obviously, you know, Sparky. And then that's Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, um. That's Bruno. I just love my big boys. Y'all, these alphas, I cannot believe that's Sparky. Sparky, you can stay out. It's fine, baby. I love how I'm like wreaking havoc on the town with my Pokemon. Look at this, my giant ass fucking golem. Come on out, buddy. Oh my God, I love this fucking creature. He is my baby. This is like my protector in this life. He genuinely, he will fucking rip your head off if you if you so much as look at me the wrong way. Town, city, Jubilife City. I hope you all heard that. I really do. Because like, this is literally a monster. He will burn the city to the ground. Not that he's a fire Pokemon, but like he just loves me. I raised him. Just kidding. I caught him as, oh my God, my little fucking Sparky. Oh, he's just sitting under the fucking tag. That's my current team right now. They kind of switch off a little bit. Um, let me show you how I've been getting around also. So I've been rolling down the street. Okay. Does anybody else do this? Because it's a little faster. I swear to God for the last, I don't know, how long have I been living here in the game? 
a month. I'm the rolling girl. I roll down the streets. They already thought I was weird. And I was like, you know what? Might as well just fucking embrace it. If they already think I'm weird, see, look at this. Oh, I'm going to get your food. Um, they already think I'm weird. And this is a faster mode of transportation. So this is how I get around when I'm in town and I can't ride my noble steeds. But then today, just today, I found out, look at this, watch this. Hold on. Am I doing it right? Yeah, look. You can run, you can sprint. If you press down on the left joystick, you can sprint. <laughs> didn't know about that. So I've been rolling, rolling down the river because I didn't know you could just run like a fucking normal person. Anyway, I want to show you my Pokemon real quick. Marie, my bestie, obviously. Okay, so the organization that I have right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it this way, but for the most part, it's kind of the way it is. This is kind of my first page where I use these Pokemon a good bit too. So I'll occasionally switch out with Max. I've been using Max a lot. He's my Arcanine. This is Time, and she's my huge, gigantic alpha Heracross, who I love so much. I use her occasionally. And then this is Samantha, and she is my Hippodon, and she is a good girl. She's like been by my side for a long time. She was really my like old reliable and I did replace her with Bruno. Sorry, Samantha, but like, I don't know. She's my girl. So like she was there for me for a long time. So she's still in like the elite pasture. But then I've got it set up right now where everybody's by type for the most part, for the most part, because there's a few things that I've been doing that are irking me a little. And I don't know whether I should switch it up, but like, obviously we've got I try to keep them by their evolutions, but sometimes like it might be out of whack, but this is my electric pasture. Then we've got my fire pasture, got my bug pasture, grass pasture. This is like the rock and ground pasture. And then we've got the water pasture. And then we've got the ghost pasture, psychic pasture. Oh my God, by the way, the fact that there is an item that allows you to evolve Pokemon that you normally have to trade to evolve. Holy shit, right? Are we psyched or what? Are we psyched or what? Now I don't have to drag somebody into my life and waste their time playing hot potato with my fucking Alakazam and my Gengar when I have social anxiety and I don't want to do that. Like those were always the last Pokemon, even though they're some of my favorites. That is my favorite thing in the whole game. I don't know if it's, that's not been in any other games, right? I certainly don't remember it. I remember having to sit around and wait for somebody to give me, to give me a lowly worm, their time and energy, passing my Pokemon back and forth. Bullshit. This is like the poison slash dark pasture. Then we have the flying pasture. And then we have the, I don't know, what is this? The fighting jock pasture. I don't know. Um, this is the normies, normal pasture. And then this is the dragon pasture. The unknown pasture and then this right now is my alpha pasture but i kind of want to take some of these alphas and put them in their respective type pastures only because i want them to like complete my little set but i also really do like having an alpha pasture i don't know it's weird so right now these are all my alphas i love catching the alphas i fucking love these big boys for some reason i held on to four of these alpha machokes i don't know why but i just love the alphas in this game they are so stupid right? Are they not so stupid, but also terrifying? The alphas are so wonderful and terrifying and they will rip you limb from limb. And I love that. But I am the master of all of them. I broke their will and they're here now. I'm just kidding. But no, they're my friends. You know, I'm good to my Pokemon, obviously. And then here's my shinies. I don't have that many right now. However, I have one of these shinies here that I am very proud of. Um, so these are all my shinies. Obviously, they're shiny, they're special, but Veronica over here, let me just show you Veronica. If you haven't already seen what's special about Veronica, sorry, Bruno, you're gonna have to go hang out with the shinies even though you're a normie. Sorry. Okay, so Veronica, and I found her totally naturally too. I didn't even, I was like, cause I normally shiny hunt, which we'll have to do someday together. But with Veronica, right? Veronica is a fucking shiny alpha. Isn't that amazing? Look at Veronica, everybody. This is my stupidly massive Raichu, a shiny and an alpha. Yeah, they don't, they don't make them like Veronica. Veronica is like my crowning jewel. Then this is my evolution pasture. Do I have them all? Do I have all the evolutions? Cause like I have this, I, I wanna get another Jolteon just to have in here. Cause Sparky's always gonna be with me. I do have all the evolutions. I really, really do. Yeah, I have them all. Mm-hmm, yep. And uh, Rufus here, 
he is a alpha, but I really do have, and I have two Leafeons because I'm just like so incredibly rich. This one's called Juniper. And then this one is just a Leafeon. Some of them have names. Like I haven't named my Vaporeon yet. I haven't named my Glaceon. This is Rufus. That's Kit. Shadow, Suki, and then these two little Eevees are probably waiting to be turned into something. But yeah, I love my evolutions as as do we all. So this is my, I did this. It's hard. It's hard to get all the evolutions. You got to find so many satchels. Find the satchels, y'all. If y'all want to just play this game and enjoy it, find those satchels. Even though no one, no one, and I mean no one, ever wants to find mine. I, I want to sprint like a normal person, like you're supposed to, but I'm going to roll because I'm. this is a habit. It's a habit now. Yeah. And you know what? If anything, they all think I'm fucking crazy and they're not going to ever fuck with me, you know? And also look at my fit. I'm just looking so cute these days. So cute. I mean, you have to when people like Adaman and Arita are walking around. Have we talked about them yet? Oh my God. Right? right? They both show up at the same time and it's like not even fair. It's not even fair. Why? Why like animate attractively like that? Like so like seriously, both of them too. They're like both my type. I think Adamon a little bit like more just because he's really nice to me. <laughs> you know what? You know how I feel about those long haired boys, right? Like Adam Ugh. anyway, I got to just craft some shit. Um, so while I do that, I will continue to update you. We've got a lot to do today. So I'll show you where I'm at in the game. You might, you may be surprised. You may be surprised at how uh, not far, I guess I am. Because again, I've just been grinding. I've been training my team. I've been out there shiny hunting. <laughs> not gonna lie. That's like the majority of what I do. And so I haven't really like been playing the game. And you know, I was gonna wait too. I was, I was gonna completely just wait, just hold it off uh, when it came to playing the actual story until I was uh, recording because you know, I just didn't want to miss anything. And last night I just was so bored and I just felt so quirky and crazy that I decided to just go a little bit further. And so right now in the game, I am at Coronet Highlands. Is that how you say that? Working on this one, scaling perilous heights, right? So I decided to just go a little bit further and meet up with that guy. I like battled him. We went through the little cave and then he's like, I have a Pokemon who's going to help you climb these mountains that you try, try as you might, try as I might with my wire deer to scale those cliffs. Y'all have all done it. And sometimes you get up them. Sometimes he gets his ass up there. It's pretty impressive. However, he can't get all the way up there. We all know it. And so he's like, I have a Pokemon who's going to help you to climb these cliffs. Uh, imagine my surprise when instead of a Pokemon... <laughs> In walks, in walks, on two legs, bipedal, bipedally walks, a full-fledged mean girl bully pop star, a cheerleader with a side ponytail and a fresh fucking Manny. She walks up to me and I'm like, who is this adult woman? Like this entrepreneur, this like cheerleader, this pop star, who is she? Where's the Pokemon? Is she behind the model? She's like walks up to us. Like she's joining the conversation of adults. Like she's an, this is like an adult woman. Sneezler is her name. She's standing there. She like crosses her arms. She like taps her foot. She looks me up and down. I'm like, okay, she's judging me. Like I get it. I'm ugly. I'm not you. I'm never going to be you. I thought I was going to get a helper Pokemon. Like, but this isn't helping anything. This is actually, you're bullying me. She's bullying me, okay, at this point, she's bullying me. And they're like, she's gonna help you just play the flute for her so that she can like open her heart to you, right? So I play the flute. Y'all, she fucking laughs at you. She laughed at me, right? Like she laughs at us? Sneezler laughs at us. That's not like a thing that Pokemon do. Why our deer didn't laugh at me? Ursaluna didn't fucking laugh at me. This bitch, this B-I-T-C-H laughs at me. I didn't know Pokemon were capable of laughing at people, but she laughed in my face. I have never been more humiliated in my life. Nothing can ever undo the, the like hit my pride took, the humiliation of that moment. You know, I knew she was gonna hate it and she did, she did. She hated every minute of it. She laughed at me. She laughed at me like I'm a lowly little worm. And it's just like, I know you're prettier than me. She has more friends than me. She's more successful than me. As if I even have any pride left for which to be chipped away at. They tell me to climb into her backpack. They tell me to climb into a basket so that she can carry me up the up the walls. 
So now I'm in the backpack of a cheerleader and it's like, I paid $60 for this game. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to be humiliated like this. She's like climbing up trees and shit like Edward Cullen. You can see my stupid little eyes on on her back. She's like, hang on tight, spider monkey. And I'm just like, there for the ride, I guess. And I, I don't know why she's doing any of it, but it's not for me. You know, it's it's got to be some kind of self-serving thing for her. I don't trust her. And yet I love her. I would follow her to the ends of the earth. And yet I would love to slap the shit out of her. She's just not what I expected from this game at all. I'm just, I'm still in a state of utter shock. I have no words when it comes to Sneasler. I wonder if everyone, is everybody talking about Sneasler? Cause I didn't see shit y'all didn't spoil Sneasler for me uh, at all. So I was again, stunned. So Sneasler carries me up the hill in a backpack with my eyes hanging out. Uh, not that they're hanging out, they're like in the socket still. It's just, you can see my eyes cause I'm a little simp. So that's Sneasler. And so I was like, you know what? I have to stop here before anything else fucking insane happens. Hold on, I forgot to sell my nugget and shit. So I gotta go back and sell my nugget. But yeah, we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna have no choice but to confront Sneasler again and ask her for help. And that's not easy for me to do, as you can probably imagine. Let's try to run actually like a normal person. See, this is how you run. You like have to really, it's it's kind of awkward. Like you have to press down on the left joystick. It's it's awkward. So that's why I like to roll, but that's that's quick. Okay, so I'm actually going to just um, collect a few things for potions and stuff real quick. Just because, you know, I don't know what's going to go on up there. We're like on a mountain. I feel like shit's about to get real. I just want to go in a little bit more strapped than I am, you know? So I'm, I'm just going through and getting a few ingredients that I need. I'm getting chased by two like fucking five-year-olds right now. And it's like, y'all have no idea the heat I'm packing right now with my Pokemon. Like, really? It's like a kindergarten class on a field trip out here. Like, actually, they want to fight. It's so funny. Like, who? Who do you think you are? A bunch of five-year-olds out here, like, wasting my time. It's hilarious. I don't... I want to get it to myself. I don't want to call on Sneasler yet. <laughs> okay, fine. Like, just look at... what. Can you... F- She's just serving nothing but cunt. Sorry. And then there's me in the back. Me, the idiot, yet again. Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I ended up in this situation. Look at her. This isn't a Pokemon. It's a bitch, okay? And she's just like a Spider-Man. Like, she's got like this long Ariana Grande ponytail and she is judging you. She's judging all of us. And you know what? Quite frankly, I think we should have to stand for it. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. Incredible, incredible. They always do this. And it's just funny because I've beaten all three of these bitches into the ground More times than I can even count at this point. More times than I can genuinely even count. It's so embarrassing for them. It's so embarrassing for the Misfortune Sisters. It's like they like it. They're putting themselves in my line of sight so that I can just kick their ass in two hits. Usually it's one. Most of the time it's one. That ride on, she really held on for dear life. This Gengar, hate to do it to him, really hate to do it to him, um, but he's going down, you know? And it's like, I guess Ashes is also going down, but whatever. Ashes did take one for the team because if anything, I just feel really, really bad for this Gengar. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's not fair. I know it's not fair. I'm so sorry to, he's a little guy. You know, Gengar is like a huge ass Pokemon normally. Like, let's just stand next to him really quick. It's fine, he won't do anything. Look at us, he's huge, he's bigger than me. But then Rem comes out and it's just like Danny DeVito and he, and he stomps him into the sand and it's just too bad. And it's just too bad that Charm will not give it up. She will not go home and just like, I don't know, hang up the hat. She's subjecting this poor Gengar to constant humiliation. Thanks for the XP, bitch. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> who like the who? Just who the f- these little shits think they are? Just sometimes I just relish in showing these idiots. Oh fuck! I'm getting jumped right now by a gang by gang activity currently, and that sucks because I really was pretty confident that I was gonna stomp these scorpies into the ground. Karen ass octillery decided she couldn't mind her own fucking business. So that's what you get. That's what you get, Karen. That's what you get. Yep, thank you so much for the rare candy. It's just so funny. Like in this game, it's equal parts funny as it as much as it is annoying that these Pokemon are so fucking nosy. Like I'll be targeting one Pokemon and then another Pokemon who's like, you know, across the entire field decides to get in on it. They want to team up. And it's so dirty, first of all. That's just dirty fighting. Like they team up on this like unsuspecting human that they they have no idea that I'm a Pokemon master. They have no idea. They think they're going to kill and eat me. That's what their plan is. What are these boys doing? Get out of here. Here's class of 2050 over here, just in my way. There's a wisp, I gotta go get that. With Sneasel's help, 
hate, you know, that's the thing. I hate to have to like call on her and I have to, I have to admit that I need her help, but I need her help sometimes. She's got these gorgeous flares on her nails, like longer than anyone's. The euphoria makeup, like I just hate her. I hate her. Ugh, these drift loons. I have never in my life hated drift loons and Paris's more in my life. They are forever changed in my eyes, forever changed, forever ruined too. The drift loons, nosy as hell, nosy as hell. The Paris's, they're not nosy, they're bloodthirsty. The Paris's and the Paris X are serial killers. I know we've gone over this, but it's just, I'm just yet again reminding you to fucking please be careful because there are Paris's and Paris X out on the streets still to this day. They are out, they're roving gangs of Parasex and Parases, and they are stealing people's money and lives. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna finish up my little supply run and then hopefully a rift in the time doesn't occur because I cannot resist a time rift. What is that? Yeah, we just have so much to talk about. Like, what is that, right? Isn't that so unhinged when that happens? When the time thing happens and you go in there and it's like, you know what happens. Yeah, it's fucking unhinged. It's nuts in there, you know? She just jumped down. I didn't even go down the right way. She just jumped. And then she just like runs around with her like arms out like a girl at the mall, you know, running for her life, running for the sales. Like she's just running to the salon. She's running to cheer practice. She's running to go like gossip with the girlies and I'm on her back. Is that an alpha? Fuck, no, it's not. But I just, stop being Sneasler running around in heels and get on your steed, Jesus. Anyway, I think the supply run, I keep saying that it's done, but then I'm addicted to doing this. Oh, there's an alpha, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck, another alpha, fuck. I hate when they zap you like that. They zap you off your steed. That's dirty, 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 dirty work. Very dirty. All right, yep, ghosts are attacking me. So I think that's my cue. Time to put my pride aside. Time to just do what needs to be done. That's the thing, that's the difference between me and Sneasler is that I do what needs to be done. Meanwhile, she does good deeds for random people like me for no reason, seemingly no reason. It's just like, what is in it for her? I wonder, you know, just can't help but wonder, am I even going the right way? Nope, I need to be all the way over here. It's fine. Get these new mushrooms. I don't know what the fuck they do, but okay. Look at her, look at her running. She's running like a, a girl. She's running like a popular girl. Sneasler, Sneasler, I need you. Sucks being the coolest, most talented, fucking awesome, badass chick in the room, doesn't it? She is a superhero. This game is not about us. This game is about Sneasler. Also, there's a time rift thing. Should I go to it? Where is it? It's all the way over here. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I wanna go though. What did I? <gasps> Someone found my satchel? Someone found one of my satchels. Luna, Luna, Luna found my satchel, finally. I've been sitting here waiting, waiting with all of these lost satchels. No one was helping me. No one was out there advocating for my satchels, for my lost items until today. Luna found my fucking satchel. This is the first satchel I've ever gotten back. Thank you, Luna. Is Luna real? Is Luna a real person? Did, is there an actual person named Luna who found my satchel? If so, please reach out to me so that I can thank you in person. I don't know. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, there's like a rock trying to fight me. It's funny, right? It's really funny when a rock decides they wanna fight. It's like, what? Oh, there's nose past my least favorite Pokemon. Honestly, the more I hate them though, the more I love them. Isn't that weird? Does that happen with you with Nose Pass too? Oh, a satchel. See, I'm helping people. Shane, you're welcome. You're welcome, Shane. You're really, really welcome. Cause you know what? I know how it feels to get your satchel back. It's a good feeling. Anyway, what was it? Oh yeah, Nose Pass. So weird, right? Like I hate Nose Pass with a fucking passion. I think he's like the ugliest creature ever to exist. But every time I look at him, I get like 1% less angry that he exists. 
You know, like I kind of, I kind of like them. I kind of stan them. Isn't that sick? Why is that Sadwuko so small? Is that how you say that guy's name? Why is he so tiny and little? Is he smaller than normal? Sudowudo. Why do I call him Sudwuko? <laughs> His name is Sudowudo. Sudowudo. Yeah. That's not Sudwuko, you dumb bitch. You know how does your brain, am I the only one who's, my brain makes shit up sometimes, like makes up names for specifically Pokemon? I'm trying to go easy on him because I kind of want to catch him because I think he's really small. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just my, I don't know. I just feel like he's a very small Sudowuko. Sudowudo. Sudowudo. I feel like he's a very abnormally small Sudowudo, you know? And I just want, I want to study him, you know? It's like he's, such a freak. I just want to study him. He's so small, right? Is it just me or is he like minuscule? Pseudo Wudo. Yeah, that's how you say that. What? I In my head, I've been calling this motherfucker Sud Wuko for some reason. <laughs> and I just, yeah, I think we all do it. We all must have. <gasps> Someone found another one of my satchels? No, I found Shane's satchel because I'm amazing. Wait, no, someone else found. Oh my God, that per, I can't. Um, that's not my language, honestly, but I love you so much. Shout out to you. Thank you for finding, thank you for finding my satchel. I've been looking everywhere for that and I just couldn't find it. Thank you. My Sudwuko. I'm just going to keep calling him Sudwuko. Pseudo Wudo. That's so stupid. Sudwuko sounds like a real Pokemon though, doesn't it? I don't know. I'll have to check him out when I get home. See, I'm looking at Nose Pass right now and I'm like, I want to punch you in the face a little bit less than I did last time I saw you. And it's weird. That's all I'm saying. It's just weird. It's just a little weird. Sorry, I'm trying to like rip these boxes open. And this guy, like, it's amazing. Like, who? Do you think you are? I'm the protagonist of this game, you little shit. I wonder if like anyone can say all the Pokemon's names, right? Because I feel like we all have some that we say completely wrong because we just read it that way, you know, like Sudwugo. Or like Gligar, like this doesn't sound right, does it? Is that is that right? <laughs> I just, yeah. There's some Pokemon's names that I'm very not confident about. You know what? I just have to say that that whole time, the nose path minded his own fucking business. He really did. I am gonna, I, you know what, nose path, you were doing so great. Don't fuck it up, buddy. I love when they get in each other's faces like this, you know? And then the, he re he rolled away because they were too close. Aw, he's like going cross-eyed and shit. I, I like the um, Hisuai Voltorb. Sorry, I had to kill you though. Nose pass. It's like they see you and then they pretend they don't and they kind of nod you to like go, to like leave. Like this guy, he sees me, he can see me, but he's just standing there. And you know what? He's rocking back and forth on his legs. I think I like nose pass. Wait, the space, oh, we already knew about that. I just really want to go to it, but I don't know if I'll be able to make it. <sighs> Sneasel, Sneasel, gotta call her on her like cell phone. She's like, call me, beat me if you want to reach me, if you want to page me, it's okay. She's a superhero, honestly. She's like one of those like hot girl superheroes. Who is attacking me right now? Jesus, like I, all I want to do is go on my Pokemon adventure. No one is letting me. Also, I really, really want to go to that time thing. You know, it's like I can play the game at any point, but when can I get a time thing? Never, right? I'm going to, oh, I'm fuck, I'm going to get hurt. No, I didn't. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to it. I'm just like going to it. Sneasel, help me, Sneasel. You're my only hope. Let's go to the time thing, Sneasel, right? Wouldn't that be like so fucking quirky if we just went to the time Thing. I keep forgetting what it's called. Here we are. Oh, and it's already going. Yes. Okay. Let's get unhinged in here. And of course, I'm like running away from, from everybody because I'm scared. I'm just trying to pick up like as much. Oh, I got a shiny stone. Hell yeah. There's like a bunch of people who want to kick my ass, but it's like, I'm honestly just here for like the items. And like, if I see any Pokemon that I really want, then sure. But like, I'm genuinely mostly here for the items, not gonna lie. It's so unhinged in here though, right? It's like, what happened? Why is this going on? Does anyone know? Does anyone else know? Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, here they are, here to kick my ass, here to kick my ass, you know? And it's like, for what? What did I do? Why do they get so pissed off in these things? Oh, I see like a nugget. Like this was so worth it, y'all. Yeah, I got all these little shards so I can make 
my little arts and crafts that sell for a lot of money. Um, what else is in here? And you know, you get like stones in here and stuff like evo evolution stones. And I still need a bunch of that evolution shit. Like I need another one of those evolution cords things, the little fucking trading cord. But they're like, we know you have social anxiety. We know you don't want to do this shit anymore. You've done it. You've done your dues. I used to have to, with my Game Boy Color, take an actual real cord thing and plug it in to another person with a Game Boy Colors cord thing. I paid my dues. You know, we didn't have the online thing. I had to do it. Oh God. Oh God. Look at that fucking thing that Magmar or what is that? He's scary. I kind of want him though. Uh, should I go fight him? I want him. I don't have him yet. I got to sneak up on him though. But it's, it's, it's honestly, it's scary in here. Cause like, you just don't have time for anything. I don't have time to sneak up on him. It's hard where you're at that stage where like, you're going to kill something. Um, if it's small, but like, I don't know. Anyway, where's that Magmar thing? I kind of want that. Where did it go? I'll grab him. He's like my little consolation prize. Shield on. Yeah. Oh, it's over. Damn. Okay, what, whatever. What did I get? See, I got some good stuff here. What's this? Yeah, this will evolve something. I'm gonna have to go back to the camp, I think, and put some stuff away. <gasps> I can, oh my God, I can evolve acorn. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, <gasps> this is not happening right now. I'm gonna get my toga kiss. Oh my God, this is not happening right now. This is not happening. Oh my God. Acorn, you're a Togekiss. Look at you. Oh my God. See, if we hadn't done that, Acorn wouldn't be a Togekiss right now, you guys. But Acorn is a Togekiss right now because we took a risk. It was all meant to be. All right, now we can go continue with the plot. All right, here we are. I know I'm about to like have some shit go down. It's probably gonna break my spirit. So I'm just gonna pretend I'm her for like five seconds. I'm just gonna pretend I'm her. I'm gonna pretend that I'm her. I'm not me. I'm not in the basket on this bitch's back right now. I am this bitch, okay? Pay no attention to the eyes in the back. Just love her. Just love her and yet I hate her. You know who I actually hate is this fucking character right here. Who the hell even is this? I do not like this person. I like skim through what they're saying and stuff because I just get bad vibes. I just feel like this person is ex extremely negative. He's been causing me a lot of issues for no fucking reason. This guy like took one look at me and decided we had a problem. And I know that a lot of other people in like Jubilife and the surrounding areas have done that too. But when he does it, it's very annoying. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you'd like. Galaxy grunt, but such as life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. He's got like his butt face Donald Trump skunk by his side. Like that's how you can just tell everything you need to know about a person by their partner Pokemon. You know what I mean? As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please almighty Sano. And right now that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. Okay, well Sano gave me a cell phone. Was it him? No, it was Arceus. Never mind. <laughs> whatever. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode's seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. I love how all of these like rival characters in these games think that they are hot shit. You know, they think that they're going to like absolutely destroy your life, your legacy. They're going to make you go into hiding. And then they have like three Pokemon. It's like, it's like, do they know that they can have six? You know, you can have six Pokemon, right? Six, because I have six Pokemon. To your, how many does this guy have? Does he have one? Oh, you got three Pokemon. And by the way, we're doing three on one. Or do I have my, do I have three out? Are we doing three on one right now? How is that fair? Nothing I can't handle, but it's not fair, I will say. Uh, really not fair, very uh, unfair, but you know what? I like it because that just means that this guy had an advantage and he's still miserably lost. Miserably lost. It's going to be very, very embarrassing for him. It's going to be very embarrassing. A, tw a level 22 Zubat at this point in the game. Look where we are. Look where we are. This gorgeous landscape that we worked so hard to get. And you, have, you brought a level 22 Zubat. Oh, here steps up the level 22 Scorapi. Yeah, he's probably going to kick my ass, huh? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah. Yep. Everyone loved that. I beat you with one Pokemon. One Pokemon, Melly. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You did. You really did. In fact, it was three on one. 
three on one. You had every advantage in the world. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked, er, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Yeah, probably not, right? Ah, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? Can you just stop talking, Melly? Yes, I want to go talk to Lord Electrode, please. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you because I've completely forgotten what Electrode likes. He has one of the most punchable faces ever conceived by mankind. Meanwhile, I am so cute. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Amanda? <gasps> He's just like here looking at me, like saying my name. Okay. He's got like his fingerless gloves on. Is he a prince? Adamant, are you a prince? By any chance? Like, are you royalty? You just give off that, like, the monarch vibes. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adamant! Back off, Melly. He's mine. I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? <laughs> this little noodle. Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Yeah, a prince, basically. AKA. Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you even feel a twinge at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? Yeah, Melly. Yeah, Melly. I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. Yeah, well, clearly you haven't had any trials in your life because you suck. You're a bad Pokemon trainer. You're a really, really bad Pokemon trainer, in fact. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. Look at him. He's like so dead serious. You better listen to him. You better listen to him because he's mad. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the best I can to help Amanda here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. He's such an amazing person. He's like such a beautiful soul, you know? His priorities are really in the right place. Everyone else, everyone else in this entire fucking region, in this entire world, perhaps, maybe, planet, <laughs> at this point in time, sucks and is judgmental and awful. He's so 3008, we're so 2000 and late. You know what I mean? Like everything about him. The Sonic the Hedgehog hair, the, the earring, the choker, the eyebrows with the little cut in them, everything, everything. The winged eyeliner, everything, my prince, my liege. I wasn't just gonna tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was gonna go right ahead and give it to her. Now it's time to make some bombs. So lend a hand, both of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fine, at the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shrinked his duties as warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. Great Melly? I don't think great and Melly have ever gone into a sentence together. Melly is such an embarrassment. He's like such a mess, honestly. He's like one of the cringiest people I've ever, ever known in my life. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Says Mr. Level 22 Zubat. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode? I fucking handed your ass to you three on one, Melly. Heh, you have a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. What is he talking about? He lost the battle. Do you guys remember that? You all saw the same thing, right? Did he not lose very miserably? Yeah. A word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode or you'll be dead in no time. I've done this several times, Melly. okay? With scarier Pokemon than Electrode, by the way. The big Pokeball. The big goofy ass Mickey Mouse Pokeball. The first time I ever went through this was with a rabid cleaver, okay? Cleaver, as in like he had cleaver hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. With your big anime heckin' round boy, okay? I'm gonna be in and out. <laughs>